What's up everyone? Welcome back to One Strange Adventure and welcome to the next video. In today's video we are exploring Cape May. I mean, not we because I didn't get to go. He was not involved so he needs to leave. This is actually a ladies day. explored Cape May. Yes, yes we did. The guys had to work um, and we had the day off so we decided to enjoy Cape May. For and like four hours. Yes. <laughs> so for those of you who do not know what Cape May is, it is the point of New Jersey where the Delaware ferry comes in. It comes up to the Cape May area. So we got to see it when we came off the ferry so we decided we wanted to go explore it. Yep. Because there's a lighthouse and beaches down there. There's also a World War One World War One watchtower. Yep. What you doing? Wanting to go inside. Pretty cool door, huh? Yes, it is. What was it for? World War II lookout. So what, did, what was the purpose of it? To watch for oncoming um, invasion. And then what did they do? They let the tower know in Delaware. The fire. T this was a fire tower. Oh uh, yeah, it is a fire. <laughs> but it's called the World War II lookout tower. Right. So this is called the fire tower because the um, they would let the other tower know where to, exactly to shoot. So it's called Cape May Point because it is that point of New Jersey. We went to Diddy's Beach. Diddy's Beach. It has a concrete piece of a ship. The Atlantis SS. Yeah. The SS Atlantis. SS Atlantis. And then that has like a grill. It has a putt-putt area. It also has a gift shop. Um, gift shop, free parking. Cape May Lighthouse is right there. That way. Be right between us. I don't even know if you can hear us. Hopefully you can. Or see us. It's a little windy. It is windy. Because of course we're at the ocean. Um, pretty cool. There is a World War II tower. That we've already visited. Yep, we already visited. And now. Now behind us is a World War II bunker. bunker. It's back there on the beach. But it, it used to be underwater. No, well, in not the underwater. Water in the water so according to the sign that's here says There's that <laughs> it was in the water I don't know if you can even see that but it has seven foot thick walls <laughs> so there can't be much space in that little bunker oh it looks like there's kind of space <laughs> so um it was built in 1941 which is pretty cool um pretty neat to see there's plenty of sand there now so we could walk to it um, you want to try to walk over to it and see it up close? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Also, we got to see where there used to be a thousand acres of a bird watch, bird observatory, 
um, that was dedicated to just the birds. Yeah. And that was pretty cool to see because it, it's mean, all land. It's just land down there. And it's um, like a cove. There's also a veterans memorial there. It's like a flame of, like the flame of veterans. Yes. But then we got back, we walked back to the car and drove down to the lighthouse, which yeah. is called the Cape May Lighthouse. When you go there, there is a parking lot right past it, and you can walk to the lighthouse or walk to the little um, museum that's right there. And I think they take donations for bricks because they have people's names dedicated in the bricks, which is pretty neat to it's see. It's like the summer program where they re-brick the pathway. Yep. And you carve your name into you carve the bricks. Your name into it. Um, but the lighthouse is almost 200 steps, and it has a museum there and you can actually go up the lighthouse for $12 a person. I don't know how much it was for kids because they're too old for a kid price anymore. Um, <laughs> so $12 for adults got you into the lighthouse. We got there 20 minutes before they closed so they Wait. wouldn't let us in. Mm -mm. But we did get to go to the um, gift shop that's there yeah. and talk to the um, person that was there. He yeah. was very informative. Yeah, he, he said that is like, the most historic town that you'll ever go to because the entire town is actually classified as a historical society so, district. So they can't build on it. Yeah, they can't build on it. They can't well, change the houses on it. They no, they just read. They, he said that they, they take very good care of all their area, all their land, and make it look historical, yeah. um, which was pretty cool to, to find like, out. All the houses are the original houses. Yep. They've probably been worked on a little bit, but it's still... Yeah. But from there, there's actually the same parking lot takes you to the Cape May State Park and the Cape May Nature Trails. Um, so we actually walked to the beach and then that's where we seen the bunker. It's yep. Bunker 223. And then from there, we walked a different trail back to the campground and it took us to the Nature Trail. And so we got to see the swans and tons of birds and a little um, muskrat. Yeah, muskrat. It was so cute. There was actually three of them, but I could only get one on the photo. We did stop at the honey shop and got some fresh honey for this this one right here. Yep, I got a jar of honey. <laughs> what did you think about that? That was so fun. Like it's such a cute little shop. <laughs> they have different flavors, honey. They have what? Orange infused, blueberry. They have walnuts covered in honey, pecans, yeah, they lavender. Have, they have dish soaps and um, body soaps as well as essential oils. Yeah, tons of stuff. So that was our adventure at Cape May. We hope you liked it. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. If you really liked it, make sure you ring the bell to get notified the next time that Dad releases a video. <laughs> yes, and until the next strange adventure. Keep making your own.